And speaking of poetry, I had the honor of interviewing Jane Flanagan this week. Ms. Flanagan is Arlington's fourth poet laureate. You may recall she was appointed by Select Board in January 2023. Flanagan is one of the founders of the Arlington Center for the Arts, a linchpin of the artistic community here. What role do you see poetry playing in here at Arlington for local perspectives? Oh, I think it plays, it could play a bigger, much bigger role than it does. Although I think that lately a lot of great things have happened. For example, this is my second year um, giving the invocation at the town meeting, which um, influences, I hope, a number of people to think about poetry. Jane Flanagan has been a lifelong poet, using her craft to process complex human experiences. Inspired by Arlington's love for literature, Flanagan has created an anthology showcasing the works of local poets. She shared a few lines with me from her book, Black Lightning, about the great famine in Ireland, and the toll it took on the Irish people nearly 200 years ago. Kathleen boards the ship for Boston, etches this last sunrise in her mind, while the cool wind rocks the ship, a day out to sea and already sickness, black fever, scarce air, seeping water. Each day the dead are slipped into ice-filled waters. If there were crosses for every dead body from Ireland to Boston, the ocean would be white with them. I think that poetry should be a part of everyone's daily life, of course. <laughs> Flanagan recently saw contributions to a planned publication called Anthology of Arlington, Massachusetts Poets. The deadline for submission was Wednesday, May 1st. Flanagan told me she was looking for poems by people who live or work in Arlington now or have spent a good deal of time in Arlington. This ongoing project is sponsored in part by the Arlington Center for the Arts.